Hello and happy Tuesday. Yesterday we learned how to read picture graphs, but today we're gonna learn how to make a picture graph. So again, down below, you will have two sheets, one that we will do together and then one that you will do on your own. So if you're not able to print out the paper, it is okay. Right now then I just want you to be able to draw this picture graph on your piece of paper because we're gonna be filling it in with the data that we find. My fun fact today is if grasshoppers were the size of humans, they could jump the length of a basketball court, which I don't know about you, but I would find that super creepy if I saw a grasshopper that was the size of us jumping across a basketball court. Super creepy, but crazy that they could jump that far if they were the size of humans. So on our piece of paper right now, we have um, cars. So what I did was I colored um, the black cars in with black marker and then the white cars are just left blank. They want to know are there more black cars or more white cars. So we're going to complete this picture graph to find out. Our topic of our picture graph is black and white cars and we are going to use a circle to stand for one car. Okay so that one circle is going to represent one car. We're going to cross out each car as we count. So we're going to start with the black cars and while we count the black cards, we are going to cross them out on our board or on your piece of paper. All right, so let's count the black cards. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So how many black cards did we cross out? Ten, yes. Okay, so we're going to draw circles in our picture graph to represent that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to fill in the next part. So how many white cars do we see? We're going to cross them out again. All right, here we go. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five. Six. So we have six white cars that we found. So we are going to represent six white cars by drawing six circles on our picture graph. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look, you've done your first picture graph. I'm so proud of you. Awesome job. So now we're going to answer the questions that are below our picture. So our first one is how many white cars are there? So white cars. We're not looking at this picture anymore. We already got all the data that we needed. Now we're focusing on our picture graph, okay? So now we're just gonna be focusing on our graph. So how many white cars are there? So we're going to count the white cars. So let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there are six white cars. Now number two. Number two says, how many black cars are there? So let's count in our picture graph. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten black cars. So I'm going to write ten. You guys are rocking it. You guys are doing a really amazing job. All right, number three. Are there more black cars or white cars? Circle which one. So if we look at our graph, we can easily see which one has more circles? And which one is that? The black car or the white car? Black car. Great job. So we're going to circle the black car on our paper. Awesome job. Now it's your turn. And this one's really fun because it's a party time picture graph. The directions are follow the directions to complete the picture graph. So it's going to give you a list of different things. So right now on number one, we're working on Jill's party supplies. And you have hats, balloons, and bags, okay? And then it tells us Jill has five hats. So you would draw a circle because at the bottom of the graph, it does say each circle stands for one item. Jill has five party hats. She has three more balloons than she does hats. She has two more bags than she does hats. So it's kind of tricking you, but I don't think it'll trick you because you guys are already masters, I can tell. Then it says that there's going to be eight children at Jill's party. So she wants to see if she has enough for each child. So on number two, the question is, does Jill have enough balloons for each child? Yes or no? Number three asks, each child gets one hat. How many more hats does Jill need? 
So she doesn't have enough. So how many more does she need for all eight children to be able to have a hat? And last one is the writing and reasoning. And it says that Jill gets one more bag. Will then she have enough bags for each child? So you are telling me why or why not? So yes or no and why? How do you know that? Okay, so make sure that we're not just writing yes she will or no she won't. We want to know why. How do you know that? How did you figure that out? We are kicking start to a great week and I'm so proud of you and I cannot wait to see you again tomorrow. Bye!